What's up everybody? This is me, Jason from Tribe Knowledge. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on gauge pins. I use gauge pins to hit my tight tolerance holes, also to make sure my calipers are calibrated right. So I have three pins here. This is a 376. I mark that with a plus. The 375, I don't mark that at all. This is the one I want to hit. And 374 with a minus. So the way I cal make sure my calipers are calibrated right is I go ahead and put my calipers on there. With the 374 pin, it should be 374. Okay. This is the 375. You should measure 375. The 376 should also measure 376. So that's how I make sure my calipers are calibrated right. So here's the 374 pin. It goes in smoothly, nice little slip fit. All right. Here's a 376 pin. It doesn't go in at all. This is what you would call a, a press fit pin for a 376. Here's a 375 pin. Boom. Goes in nice and smooth. So these are gauge pin sets. They go from increment of 60 thou all the way to 250 thou for one set. The next set picks up at 251 thou all the way to 5 thou, which is half an inch. The next set goes from Half an inch and one thou, that's uh, 500 and one thou, all the way to 625 thou, that's uh, five, five eighths. Then this next set goes from five eighths all the way to three quarter. So they have one from three quarter to one inch too, uh, and that's gauge pin sets. All right, everybody, so that's it for today's tutorial on gauge pins. Join me next time as I talk about gauge blocks and other machining things. Chopper knowledge, out.